Let's have some fun and go over how to navigate the course for Research Writing 3345 in Blackboard. When you log in the course, you will automatically be taken to the announcement board, and there you will see upcoming announcements. These also came to your email address, so remember to activate your Wayland email address. You will need that if you ever need to contact me because I can only contact students who write to me using their Wayland email address. So on the left menu bar, this is like your control central. And here is where you'll go to this same page, this same announcement page. Next is the start here menu. Then is the tab where you can find information about me. Course information includes the syllabus and other information that you need. This particular section is where you will go to find your assignments. You will look under course assignments and you'll be able to scroll down and open the folders for each of the assignments in the course. You know what those assignments are because back in the course information when you read the syllabus you saw the breakdown of assignments that are due for the course. You can also refer to the weekly objectives to see what it is that we're up to each week and the discussion boards will take you to the very few discussion boards that we have in the course. I think discussion boards are important, but I think they can be overdone, so the ones that we have are very important. Next is your grade center, and you can see that this is where you will go to find out what your current grade is in the course. Keeping our focus on the left menu bar, you will see the library where you will find all of the tutorials that I have created for this course. Let's take a minute and go to that video tutorial library together. So I just clicked on the video tutorial library. You know sometimes I hear students say to me, I saw this tutorial and it was just wonderful but Lord I cannot remember where I saw it. And so it's very easy to go over here to the tutorial library and find the tutorial that you wanted to see and find out which folder it is in and where it is located within that folder. And students find this to be really helpful whenever they want to look at a tutorial that they saw but gosh can't remember where that was. So I just want to point out the video tutorial library which is updated and contains all of the tutorials that I have created for this course. Let's go back to that left menu bar. As you can see Throughout the course, I can always toggle back over to this left menu bar and go back to where I needed to be. So it helps me keep from getting lost in the course when I know I can always go back to my little control center over here in the, on the left. This section of the course contains information that you will also find in your textbook. I find that students learn in a number of different ways. Some people love the tutorials, some people like a good old textbook in their hands, and some people like to go online and read information that way. So I have created content in this course to accommodate all kinds of learners. So this section contains information that's broken down into segments that all revolve around research writing. What is research? How to write an MLA, which is Modern Language Association, and those rules there, types of essays, and formal writing style. Some folks are taking this course and have been out of school for a little while, and those little reminders on how to write formally can come in real handy. So take a glance at this section of the course and just see if there's anything in there that might be able to help you. Of course, you'll find some tutorials. And below that are some of your help centers where you can locate help for anything where you might get stuck. So there's the writing center. This is an explanation of Blackboard for students, uh, the helpline, and other tools. The very, very bottom of your control center contains examples. Now these are examples of multiple source essays. They aren't always the perfect examples, but they are examples to let you see what other students who came before you have created 
in essays that I thought were worthy of showing you in the examples tab. So you can take a minute and look that over as you go through the course. I want to take just one quick second and scroll back up to our little command central and I want to go on over and look at these course assignments real quick just to go over that real briefly with you. At the top of this course assignments tab there's a format reminder and each time you submit a document before you do so I hope you'll come over here and just remind yourself real quickly. This is a really important tutorial on word count. Sometimes students forget to put that word count in and that's a, a, a unnecessary loss of points because the words you write are your proof that you completed the required number of words written for the course. So go ahead and look at that. It's very short. Uh, then this is a information about if you turn something in and if you're anything like me you turn something in, you go, oh my goodness, I forgot the word count. Now, up until the time that the essay or submission has been graded, you can go back in and resubmit. I allow unlimited submissions until the due date. After that, it's too late. So be sure that if you turn something in, I like to turn things in early because I know that for me, Half the time I think, oh my goodness, did I remember to? And I can go back in and change and resubmit that essay as many times as I need to up until the due date. This is the basic skills and of course the due dates change every semester. But you'll find information in each one of these and I just want to show you one thing right quick. And that is this basic skills. Remember this is the one thing in the course that is submitted in two places. It's submitted in the discussion board and it's also submitted here in the course assignments. And you'll find in here information, there's some examples and there are examples of EasyBib which is a tool that's used to cite bibliographies unless you want to write one on your own which is fine. But I wanted to point this out to you because in each submission for this course Right below where you'll see the rubric, which is how I'm going to grade and evaluate your work, you will find these magical words, submit here. And when you see those words, you click on that and you upload your PDF. Now your document is going to start as a Word document, uh, whatever you want to do for that document, but you need to save it as a PDF because Blackboard will always read a PDF. And y'all, half the time it doesn't read other formats. So make sure you get that submitted as a PDF. So this is just an example of those course assignments and when you click on the tabs, the course information that you'll find inside. Folks, this is Blackboard and so the course information is organized the way that Blackboard organizes information. So each one of the due date folders contains information. Here's a nifty little thing on discussion boards, a little overview about discussion boards, and then the due dates, which of course will always change depending upon the semester. So that's your course in a nutshell. Let me go back over here to the announcement board. You'll see the pop-up for whatever you have selected over here. This is your control center, and this is where you will determine where you want to go next. I know sometimes I get in these courses and things and I get lost in there, and I don't know about you, but it makes me feel claustrophobic and like I can't figure out where I am. And the wonderful thing that I do love about Blackboard is that you can always use your left menu bar to navigate back. Because I'll show you something real quick. I came back over here to the course assignments to show you what I'm talking about. Down here, the multiple source essay contains several folders of information. And gosh, sometimes, as much as I'd like to think it never happens, sometimes a student can be in these folders 
and not be able to remember what in the world and it becomes intimidating sometimes I realize that's the blackboard format and we work the best we can within that I love a lot of things about blackboard now in the upper left of your screen you have a back arrow and you can always use your back arrow to go back and forth from things but let me just show you one example just to show you what I mean here's that the top of each one of these is going to be a little tutorial and I hope that you'll watch that because it's going to give you an interview, uh, overview of everything that's contained. This multiple source essay is a lot of work and it's a wonderful project, but in case you ever get lost in the study materials, you can always use your backspace arrow or, when in doubt, go back to your left control menu. That's all the time I'm going to take discussing the navigation of the course with you because it takes some getting used to. You want to explore and click around and uh, enjoy this process. It really is straightforward, and though I sometimes get intimidated in these kinds of things, I have designed it so that you can always use your backspace and go back, and I have things organized. So if you'll just start at the top with the overview tutorial and each one of those assignments, and then work your way down. Each one is organized logically, and I think you'll have a successful time. I hope so. I hope this will be an enjoyable semester for you, and that concludes this tutorial on how to navigate the classroom for Research Writing 3345.